Garcia. Oh, excuse me, tail of the tape here. Slight reach advantage for Emiliano Sordi. One inch height advantage for Vinny Magliese. And worth noting, he comes in at 203, looks leaner this year, he does Vinny. That he's been working hard, he said he's been working hard, he has something to prove. He made it to the finals, but he wants to get all the way through this season. And now Lillian Garcia will start our heavyweights off in the final feature bout of the evening on ESPN+. Plus. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final fight of the night. It is three rounds in the light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a striker, standing at 6'2", weighing in at 205 pounds. In 25 professional fights, he has a record of 17 victories and eight defeats with 12 wins by knockout. Fighting out of Rio Cuatro, Argentina, Emiliano Jimenzorti. His opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is a former jiu-jitsu world champion. Standing at 6'3", weighing in at 203 pounds. In 29 professional bouts, he has a record of 18 victories, 10 defeats, and one no contest, with 14 wins by submission. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, here is Pesau, Vinny Magalhães. Your referee in charge, Dan. Expect a hot start here in light heavyweight action. Vinny Magalhães, last season's finalist in the silver trunks. Emiliano Sordi out of right, Argentina ready, in the gold. You ready, sir? Let's go, round one. Touch of the gloves to start it off. This is like an MMA fight for soccer fans. Brazil versus Argentina. <laughs> Intense rivalry between those two countries for what it's worth. Head kick attempt there from Vinny. An MMA and fight now a body shot. Fans too. And now to the leg. Three kicks in a row from Vinny. Big oh. punch. Emiliano Sordi drops Vinny with a right hand. Follows it up. Sordi's got to be careful here. Vinny's still very dangerous. He yeah, he's hurt. Yeah, he's got to back up and make Vinny stand up. Quick That's recovery by Vinny Magalhães. Tries to tie up the legs of Emiliano Sordi, and now he's got one of his, he's got Sordi's left leg tied up. With his whole body here, attempting to drag He-Man to the ground. Sordi's a big puncher, man. He's got to make some space now. He's doing some good things right here, stuffing that head, but Vinny's got his hands locked, and that's what's usually, what usually is going to happen. Sorti to the mat. Now Vinny goes to work on top. He's nice shot by Sorti. Back out. Yeah, he's, he's smart. He's got to back out of there. Scrambles up and walks away. He doesn't want any part of Vinny on the ground. And that's what you need to do with Vinny. In the transition from the takedown to the ground, that's when you try to escape. Otherwise, defend yourself. Got to be ready for that shot because you know Vinny's going to change levels and try to get to those legs again. Enters with a jab in that right hand, blocked by Vinny this time. That right hand found its home on Vinny's head. Vinny's tasted that power. He's, he doesn't like it. Catches a kick. Emiliano Sordi lets Vinny Magalhães back up. Vinny's got to change levels and explode. He can't Vinny stand has got to change levels and try Left to get hook lands on Vinny with his back to the cage. And he's still hurt. He's still not moving quite right. That was the perfect shot. Let's see what he can do with this takedown. Emiliano Sordi grabs the body lock and attempts to flip Vinny for this exact reason, walks away. Sordi looks like he's fighting the fight that you fought with Vinny from the second round on. Right hand just lands there. And now an uppercut. Another right hand from Sordi, unleashing combinations against the cage. That's the uppercut. He's ducking his head there. He's going to get caught with one of these uppercuts. Body shot and the uppercut. Nice combination for Miliano Sordi. E-Man going to work here. 
Then he has got to move his feet and try to recover. He can't stand and be a human punching bag. Not with a guy with this kind of power. And Sorty, it, it, it's hard to tell because Vinny is so big. He's six foot three. He's so broad shouldered. Emiliano Sorty was 235 pounds a week ago. He cuts weight very efficiently. His body gives it up. He's a big, powerful 205er. Vinny's been inside the cage for longer than all of his regular season fights last season. Not combined, but each one individually. He never made it outside of two minutes. Oh, here's the right ball here. for Emiliano Sordi. That's a straight, get a straight, a straight, and pull it, pull it now, go, go, go. Come on, again, again, do it. Overhead, overhead, come on. There you, go. there you go. That was a big right hand. Straight, straight. Vinny Magalhães taking a lot of punches here in round one, but he showed his toughness six months ago, and he's putting it on display again here. Throwing the kicks back. That one attempts at the head. Look at the range Sordi's keeping. Sordi's keeping that distance, and that's going to make it much harder for Vinny to shoot because Sordi's already read his timing. Just misses with the right hand there. Emiliano Sordi feeling it out here in round one. Dropped Vinny Magalhães earlier. Loop, leaping punch from Vinny. At least he got himself off the cage there. I still don't think he's on the most stable legs. And he's throwing these looping punches. All Sordi needs to do is step back. And Sordi's throwing straight punches. Look at that. He makes a miss. More oh, right right back. A big knee from Emiliano Sordi. Jumping knee. What a first round for the Argentine slugger. He man Emiliano Sordi. Randy, what are you telling Vinny if you're in his corner? Cool. I mean, this is, the, this is the worst case scenario for Vinny right here. He got caught with a great shot, got put down. He's got to set his shots up. Hopefully he recovers here in this minute. He gets his legs back under him. He can't dive at his feet. He's got to set those shots up and drive through him and pull him on the bottom. Here's the knockdown, Eve. Yeah, Sordi stepped in with the jab and the right hand just finds the, finds the mark right between the gloves. Vinny's backing up. Vinny's covering himself the entire time. He's not firing back. He's not offering any offense, anything for Emiliano Sordi to worry about. And that's why Sordi's able to defend these takedowns and throw these big combinations in, the, in, these, in these transitions. Look at that. Firing three and four punch combination. Vinny's throwing one and two big hooks. And all Sordi has to do is step back. He can just lean out of the way and get himself in a position where he can counter. Still five points on the line here. Emiliano Sordi, Vinny Magalhães. Feature light heavyweight bout here on Long Island at the NYCV Live Experience and Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum. Right. Dan Mergliata oh, cleans up the water in the corner. All, right. All set, you ready? You ready? Round two? Let's go, fight. And gets round two started. Another touch of the gloves here. Sordi has malice on his punches, man. Bad intentions on everything. Needs to be careful not to get too comfortable in his combinations here. Vinny still does have big power, especially in those kicks. He does, but Sordi has that range down. Everything Vinny throws, it's either too big or too small. Look at that, he's missing. Everything misses or it hits, hits Sordi with the forearm, the inside fat part of the forearm. So far, Bozagita Tayev, the only light heavyweight with six points. So, you slide right into second place if you get a finish here in this light heavyweight bout. Yep. So what he's setting Vinny up right now. He's trying to work combinations. He's trying to set Vinny up so that he can counter. He's going to drop Vinny's offense out, make Vinny miss, and then make him pay. Strategic calf kicks. Yeah. Those are big legs, big feet for Vinny Magalhães. Another right hand lands for Sordi. Here comes a counter. Oh, another one. 
Uppercut and a hook from Sorty. Another right hand. And now diving to the legs is Vinny Magliage. Sorty says no thank you and walks away. It's like there's a blueprint to fight against Vinny. Right hand from Sorty. Vinny's down again. Pressing his opponent is Emiliano Sordi. Brief ground and pound, and then he backs off and lets Vinny stand up. And Vinny has taken some big shots. I tell you, I questioned Vinny's toughness ahead of our bout. I never questioned it again after I fought him. You can hit this man with a lot, and he's not going down. Emiliano Sordi has put that on show tonight. I want to know who hits harder, you or me on a sorting. I'm going to say me. Well, we got a big body shot there from sorting. Yeah. Nice combination. Moving off center line is sorting. Then he's starting to have trouble defending himself. Yeah. Sorting putting on a bit of a clinic here. Body shot. I Uppercut. Hook. Emiliano Sordi. I agree. Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this fight. I agree. Emiliano Sordi with a second round finish at five pounds, five points, excuse me, over last season's finalist, Vinny Pagliari. I guess I got a souvenir. I got Sordi's mouthpiece. I'm not sure I want it. He threw it right, <laughs> right to the cage at it. <laughs> I'm glad it went to you. Clinical striking performance put on by Emiliano Sordi. It was like he was hitting pads. Vinny, Vinny became a, a human punching bag there. Vinny off the last round. Vinny off with no offense. So he had nothing to worry about. And the reason that was was because when Vinny started firing back, so he started countering. He made him miss and made him pay. When you start paying a debt that you don't want to be paying, you stop putting into that. I tell you what, we came in to tonight with a preconceived notion about who were favorites in the light heavyweight division. And in some cases, that's been flipped on its head. Here's the replay. Earlier in round oh. two, that right hand finds a home again. Watch, as any time Vinny throws, he's going to miss. If he even throws in these. Beautiful ah. right hand look. Even as Vinny throws the left hook, he misses. It bounces off the top of Emiliano's head. Emiliano is in the perfect range. Body shots. Vinny's covering up because he doesn't see what's coming. And look, he's not hitting anything. Vinny, when Vinny fires back, he doesn't hit anything. You know, just, just about a minute ago, I said I think I'd probably hit harder than a Manuela Sorti. <laughs> I'm going to retract that statement. He got the finish here in the second round against the very game Vinny Magoyesh, who was just outclassed in the striking game tonight. I bet you those cage anomic numbers are going to be crazy. Wow. 121 strikes thrown for Emiliano Sordi. About half of them landed, but those were some heavy, heavy power strikes. 50% landing is, is a high percentage. I mean, if I'm hitting you with one of every two that I'm throwing, I'm just going to keep throwing all night. Especially if you're throwing 50 around you. Yeah, that's a lot of punches. Lillian Garcia is inside the cage with our fighters and we'll make this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, the stoppage comes officially at two minutes and 45 seconds into round number two. Your winner by TKO, earning five points in the light heavyweight division, Emiliano Sordi! Five points for Emiliano Sordi out of Argentina. Yeah. Get ready. Uh-huh. Listen. What you want to do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gonna come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Be timid, that ain't cool. Nah.